Welcome to Google Developers Weekly for November 4th, 2013. I'm Lewis Gray, and this is our highlight reel of what's happening in the world of Google developers on the set and off. We start the week in New York with Eric Kaleda and Arun Nagarajan, who team up to take on your questions on Apps Script and deliver the latest updates. If automated workflows and ERPs are your thing, make sure you don't miss it. We were also delighted to host a five-part series focused on Apps Script for Google Developers Academy for all of our Spanish-speaking coders around the world. Together, Antonio Guzman and our very own Francisco Solsona produce all the lecciones and introducciones that you need para iniciar. From Italy, Mario Viviani introduces us to the cool new card layout UI for Android, which you can see in many different Google applications, including Google Now, Google Plus, and Google Play. And have you ever had a crazy idea? Sure you have. Sometimes your idea is great, but the world's not ready for it yet. Don Dodge and I, that's me up there, talked about our own experiences and how we've seen companies and technologies that were ready for the world of the future, and others that just managed to get the timing right and hit it big. In the second Root Access episode of the week, Don stuck around and took viewer questions, focusing on whether revenue matters when it comes to startups. Should your startup go for revenue or for innovation? Don's here with all those answers. And here at GDL, we upload large videos to YouTube every single day. Ibrahim Uakaya tells us how to work with resumable uploads and use them in your code so you can get to your big data in the right place. I'm also excited to debut our first show from GDL India in Hyderabad. Utram Tripathi and David McLaughlin introduce us to the large community-run events that we call GDG DevFest. DevFest can offer speaker sessions, hackathons, code labs, and more so we can get together with our fellow geeks. And back in Mountain View, wallet wizard Pong Ying joined up with Maru Bauza for a deep dive into the Wallet Objects API Java Quick Start sample. The video highlights authorizing access using the Save Wallet API, as well as enabling instant signup and linking from the Wallet app. If you were one of those Geo developers wondering what was new in Google Earth Enterprise 5.0, this is the show for you. Dylan Thomas and Avnish Botnagar focus on the release highlights and all those new features that you've been asking for. In addition to all these great pieces, the big news for Google this week came from Android, who satisfied our sweet tooth with the sugary goodness of Android 4.4 KitKat. Rado Meyer summarizes some of the most significant developer features in this release, including new ways to make your apps beautiful and my personal favorite, step counter sensors. If you use AdSense, here's one for you. This week we added AdSense data to the Google Analytics Core Reporting API. You can now use this API to answer questions like, which pages contribute the most to my AdSense revenue and which traffic sources contribute the most to my revenue? You can check out our blog post on the Google Developers blog for the scoop and links to all of the documentation. We're also happy to say the Google API's console is dead. Long live Google Cloud Console, the next generation of dashboards for managing your Google API usage. This new console has a visual refresh and tight integration with our cloud platform services. See for yourself at cloud.google.com console. Hopping over to the next cloud for more news, this week we've launched support for native MySQL connections in Google Cloud SQL. Now you can access your Cloud SQL database from just about any application using the MySQL Wire protocol. Take a look at our blog post to find out more, including links to a case study and all of the documentation. And to make sure that you never miss a thing from the world of Google developers, subscribe to Google Developers on YouTube and check out the GDL schedule at developers.google.com live. I'm Lewis Gray, and I'll see you in the studio.